This is the True Voice Media Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Gibbard. Back in 2011, I started a social business agency called True Voice Media. In 2013, I launched this podcast because my audience told me that they wanted to learn more about how social media could help them grow their business, but they wanted it to be interesting and without all the standard social media hype and BS, just someone who will give it to them straight with honest, simple strategies that they can use today. If you're a new listener and that sounds like what you want to, listen to this episode. And if you love it, subscribe to our show. We'd love to have you on board. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone, please take your seats, grab a piece of paper and a number two pencil. You've just entered the classroom. So the first thing I would suggest is that there's a ton of obviously much more qualified people out there to discuss how to conduct keyword research than myself. That isn't my area of expertise. I'm going to give you the basics, and then at the end of this episode, I'm going to provide a number of different resources that you can go and find out more about how to conduct proper keyword research. So the first thing is, is you really want to be able to get inside of how your audience actually will type in the question. So you have two different types of searches that are going to be run in today's day and age. One is going to happen from a smartphone. Those typically tend to be the how do I or how to sort of searches. We're on the go, we're looking for a quick piece of information. It's not in-depth research. Now on the other side of it, you have people that are sitting down and they are doing in-depth research about a product they might want to buy, opinions that people have, etc. For that, you're going to want to talk to people directly. Sit down and talk with a few people that make up your core demographic and find out how exactly they would go about finding your service. If you can, sit them down and offer them lunch or something in exchange for their time where they can give you some valuable insights into the exact language they use. Now, you'll note I said the exact language. I want to be clear that that landed for you because you don't want to summarize or paraphrase. The truth of the matter is you're looking for exactly what they would write. And I'll give you a good example of where this is important. We are a social business agency. Now, ask me this. Do people actually search for social business agency? No, they don't. They're looking for social media marketing, content marketing. They're looking for social media consultants, social media strategy. So we had to actually change the keywords that we're using on our site to match the behaviors of the people that are searching for the solutions we provide. So you really need to make sure you understand the exact language people are using. So that's about the high level of it. From there, I would also suggest doing a couple other things, such as going into Google Instant and checking what suggestions Google gives you once you put in a few starting point keywords. You really want to try and focus on those long tail keywords and phrases. And what I mean by that is, instead of searching for sneakers, for instance, you would want somebody who's searching for men's nine and a half black Nike basketball sneakers. That's known as a long tail search. The more keywords that you add to it, the more specific people are, but the more likelihood that they're going to buy something. So in a um, product business or even in a service business, the more specific people are, the more likely they are to buy something. Um, I think that about wraps up the high level of how you do keyword research. After this, I'll put some additional information and resources from, from, uh, from some of the people we've even had on this podcast before. Uh, for instance, Nick Eubanks has a tremendous amount of uh, information and insight on how to conduct keyword research, and we'll link that in the show notes of this episode. So thanks to Chelsea Hip for asking that question. I think it was uh, it's going to be valuable for all of our listeners. So thanks again. Tune in next time where we give more tips and tricks on how to navigate the web and where I answer your questions and give you some resources so that you can do your job better. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to the True Voice Media Podcast. And you made it all the way to the end of the episode. I'm proud of you. But now that you're here, this is what we're going to need you to do. First of all, head on over to your favorite podcast platform and give us a rating. If you don't know where to start, go to truevoicemedia.com slash feedback. Next, if you're not yet a subscriber, it's time you fix that. Head over to truevoicemedia.com slash podcast to subscribe by iTunes, Stitcher, or email. If you really want to show us some love, Visit our partners and sponsors who help make this show possible. I know the show feels free, but trust me, it's not. 
I sure ain't done publishing these episodes, so I sure hope you're not done listening. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.